adding simple addition using the earthly beads using the hundreds column. So in this lesson, we're going to do exactly the same thing as we've done in the, the two other lessons, only now we're getting into the hundreds. Now, that might be intimidating for some people saying, oh, I have a hundred, a hundred is a big number. I don't know if I can add hundreds. Well, you know what? Adding one or 100 is as easy. It's just as easy to add number in the hundreds as it is in the any other, as the ones column, because it's all the same. We're all just, we're always just focusing on one column at a time. So we're getting into the series business, but I'm telling you, it's not much different than anything else. But we're going to add, do a simple addition, using only the earthly beads. We're going to be doing numbers that are in the, into the hundreds. Now in the hundreds, you know, that could be anything from zero up to 231 or 442, all the way up to 999. So here's a problem for you. Let's see if we can do it. Put the number 231 in your abacus, and we're going to add to that 111. So 231 looks like this. 231. There's the number 231 on your abacus. Now this is an easy one. I think you'll be able to do this. Now add 111. That's all ones. If you write the number 111, it's just three run ones. And one one goes in each of these columns. So we go one, one, and one. We just added 111 to that. And what are we left with? 342. So 231 plus 111 is, and you just read it on your abacus, it's easy. 342. See how fast you can come up with that? It's pretty quick. One of the things we, we love the abacus. All right, let's do another one. Even though it's 100, it's a piece of cake. Uh, so 123. 123. There's our number. And let's add to that 321. So 321. I move three beads here. 21. Oh, what did I end up with? 444. 440 and 4. 4 in the hundreds column, and so I say 400. 4 in the tens column, and I say that 40. And 4 in the ones column is 4. 444. All right, let's do another one. Okay. Let's see if you can do this one. This is going to get tricky because I'm going to throw a zero at you. So here we go. Put in the number 241. Looks like this. 241. You can do that piece of cake. And let's add to that. 241 plus 203. So what is it? What is it? I, 203. How do I write that? 203 is written 203. So let's put that in our abacus. 2, 0, I don't do anything. 3, oh my goodness, look at that. We came up with the same number. 444 again. So 241 plus 203 is 444. 444. All right, let's do something a little bit different. All right, let's see if you can do this one. No, this is going to be tricky. Well, not really. Let's do, put the number 100 in your abacus. The number 100 is written 100. Zero, zero. zero in the ones column, zero in the tens column, but a one in the hundreds column. That number reads 100. So we're going to do the 100 plus 21. Well, that's really easy. 20 and 1. 100 plus 21 is 121. Now, it's good that you practice this because a lot of beginning math students 
don't really get the columns thing or how numbers are separated into different columns. That's what just one of the things I love about the app because is it helps you visualize that a little bit better. Let's do another problem. Let's put the number 241 in your abacus. 241. So there's the number 241, and we are going to add to that the number 102. 241 plus 102. Now, how do we write the number 102? We have a 1, 1, a 0, and a 2. So write that number down just so you can maybe translate that visually into your abacus. But here's what we do. We just add a 1, a 0, nothing changes here, and a 2. And what's the number that we end up with? 343. So 241 plus 102 is 343. Holy cow, you guys are doing... These are massive numbers. You're already adding in the hundreds. And look what a piece of cake is. You're just doing one column at a time. So any number that you add, whether it's 10 or 10 million, all you have to focus is each column as you're adding them together. It's a piece of cake. You can do this. So here we go. Hopefully you're getting how to do this is simple addition using the earthly beats by now. I think you're getting it. It's, it. You're smart. You're a smart kid. That's what your mom told me. She told me you're really smart. And all it takes is just, you know how to do this stuff. But you got to practice. So go get the, your practice sheet and print it off of the website and work through these problems. Even though you could probably do it in head and do it the other way, it's good for you to get used to using the abacus. It's, it's going to get harder from here on out. So get, well, it's not going to get harder. It's going to get funner. That's, I mean, the abacus really isn't hard. It's just fun. It's neat. So it's going to get funner, funner from here on out. Print off the worksheet and work through the problems using your abacus.